putting the little spot right here next to the house. Got an apple tree right here, and these deer are coming out of this bedding over here and feeding under this apple tree. It's about 25, 30, 30 yard shot, so testing out the new VPA Omega. Hopefully we can run that single bubble through red dough tonight. It'd be nice. It's supposed to uh, rain all this week, so I'm getting out a little bit tonight. Let's see if I can pick one off and add one to the freezer and make a bunch of jerky and stuff here before October comes around. Anyways, should be pretty good. The wind is blowing kind of off my right side back towards this other house over here, so kind of like a little pretty much backyard bow hunting. So. These deer have been moving pretty early. They've been picking up all these apples that have fallen off of this tree. So hopefully, it doesn't take too long and these, these deer come by. It should be about five or six does that keep coming over here. So hopefully, they pop out. We saw them yesterday. So we'll see. Thirty-five yards. Definitely hit her. Climb down for it. Gets too dark and find her. Hoping she didn't cross the road. That's gonna be a nightmare. If so. All right, let's climb down and look. Well, here's the arrow. I mean, it looks like a hard shot, but the arrow broke. I cannot believe that. VPA single bevel. It's an Omega, 200 grains. We got blood on impact. That's a single bevel for you right there. Humerus is broken. Look at that. Can your broadhead do that? Perfect, that's a heart shot. 
absolutely perfect. That's a 595 grain um, Sirius Orion with a 200 grain VPA Omega single bevel and the broadhead's absolutely perfect. I could probably strop this up and be sharper than any other broadhead out, you know, out of the pack. So super, super happy. Entrance was right here. I mean, it, it was a perfect hard shot. She went maybe 35, 40 yards max. But look at this. That's her humerus. And you can feel right here. I mean, it's just snapped. So I can feel bone shards and stuff in there. I mean, that is, that's insane. I mean, if your broadhead can't handle that, then you need to pick up <clears throat> some of these VPA Omega single bevels. These things are legit, man. This thing's still wicked sharp. She didn't go anywhere. Exit was right on the elbow on the offside. And yeah, I mean, can't ask for much more. Just absolutely perfect, perfect shot placement. Really bummed that my arrow broke. Um, this arrow was flying absolutely perfectly. So kind of a bummer there, but hey, things happen. And uh, at the end of the day, I got the deer. So all good there, but man, I could not, I've been wanting to break something with these Omegas since I got them and the first time out, it's like absolutely perfect. So could not be happier with their performance. And uh, yeah, just a beautiful evening all together. I think I saw about 10 deer and uh, she stopped perfectly broadside at 35 yards. I had to stop her twice because I had this trunk in my way. It was just a perfect, perfect shot. So I'm losing daylight quick. I'm gonna go ahead and get her taken care of and get out of here and uh, relax the rest of the evening. All right guys, it's been a couple days. I've had this meat agent in the fridge here and I've got the front shoulder to that impact side. I think it's kind of important, you know, you make a shot like that or have a, you know, an impact site like that to really dive in and, you know, check out what your, you know, arrow did, um, you know, on impact, on meat, on bone. I think it's important to see and um, make sure we're being as ethical as possible um, on the arrow setups that we take a field. So let's dive in and see what this humerus looks like and see what this single bevel did. If you don't want to see all this stuff, you know, feel free to go ahead and skip ahead or end the video. All right, so here's this front shoulder. And here's the humerus right here. And then here's the, the shoulder blade itself. Here's the ridge of the shoulder blade. And then here's the humerus. So I think this is important too to note before I cut this off that this humerus is actually completely broken in two. It's not hanging on by anything but meat here. Here's a huge piece of bone shattered. I mean, it exploded. We've got all the meat taken off here and set aside so we can actually see what occurred to this humerus and uh, what this single bevel really did. This was actually broken. Right here is the impact site. Right here, um, that single bevel went in here and it torqued it and then it just popped. So that's, I mean, pretty much the ultimate. Yeah, so that sits like that. That's about the ultimate arrow performance. That is, that's solid bone. We went through that like it wasn't even there. If the broadhead looks brand new, um, it's perfectly fine. I've put it on another arrow, it's flying perfect, and I'll sharpen it right up and use it again on the next time. So yeah, that's pretty nuts. When you break the humerus in half like that, that was a 36 yard shot, it's a 595 grain arrow with a 200 grain VPA single bevel out front. And that just kind of goes to show you like what is actually possible from a work perspective when you've got the appropriate setup to deal with these sort of, you know, bone impacts. Couldn't be more pleased with how that, that came out. I mean, that broadhead looks brand new. It's flying great. Put it on another arrow and I'll sharpen it up and use it for the next hunt. So just wanted to show y'all that, that, you know, if you've got the appropriate setup and the appropriate broadhead with, you know, some good mass in your arrow system, 
you can break some pretty significant bones. I mean, the humerus is about the worst case scenario when it comes from a bow hunting perspective. I mean, everybody says that, you know, this real thin shoulder blade is a problem. I mean, if you're struggling to get through, a, you know, the flat of a shoulder blade, then you've got bigger problems than, um, you know, you might want to admit. So we hit the humerus square at 36 yards with a 595 grain arrow and at launch that thing is going about 253 feet per second and we absolutely blew the humors in half that deer didn't go 35 40 yards max got a complete pass through the arrow broke i think that was just because she was ducking so when it went through that bone she was already you know ducking down to load her legs so it probably just caught it in between the ribs and that shoulder and then snapped it like that but you know, 36 yard heart shot, broke the entrance side humerus to get to it. And um, yeah, dead deer in less than 40 yards. So if you've got the right setup to deal with these type of impacts, um, there's really no hesitation when it comes to, you know, quartering to or quartering away shot placement. Um, if, you, if you know you can make the shot and it's at a reasonable distance. So she was perfectly broadside at 36 yards. She just, you know, ducked and reacted and went to tuck that leg right before the arrow got there and it just so happens that we caught her out on the humerus and then got a complete pass through straight to her heart so i mean absolutely incredible performance i couldn't be you know happier with the result and um, yeah those vpo omegas are legit so i would encourage you to pick some of those things up they're super easy to sharpen and clearly they can do exactly what you need them to do on impact so I'll leave a link and a discount code to those heads that I used in this video in the description. And uh, yeah, thanks for joining. I'll see you on the next video.